Dear seniors, many of you will never put on a jersey again, never walk out onto the field, look up into the stands and feel a whole town behind you. I know it hurts, football does, but where else in life do you get knocked down on every play and have to make the choice to get back up? Through injury, adversity, even family tragedy, you always made that choice. You never let your brothers down. For me, that's the definition of character. And character is all that a man has in life. Football taught me this, and I see it in each of you. When you hand in your jerseys, your life as part of this team is not over. It's only beginning. Because you will never hand in the lessons you've learned, the respect you've earned, and the family you've created. You will wear that for life. As a coach, if you had a, a whole team full of Darius Shackelford, you'd feel pretty good. He had a lot of options, and he weighed those options very carefully, and this is, this is where he settled, so he knew that this was the place for him to be. You can try to make sense of why you lose somebody like him at such a young age, but you, know, you, you have faith that he's, a, he's in a better place right now. During his senior year in 2015, Darius helped the baseball team reach the district finals and helped the basketball team win the district tournament. He finished with the second most catches, third most yards, and third most touchdowns in New York history. But his heart and the way he made others feel will be how Darius Shackelford is remembered. I'm guarding the biggest guy on the team. Like, I gotta get him to stop. All right, coach, I got you. Like, if you guys got my back, then I'm gonna give you my 100% effort and get him stop.
There has been 23 Penguins drafted into the NFL over the last 65 years and twice as many signed after the draft. Today, the university welcomed all professional scouts to the Penguins annual Pro Day, where there was far more than just football players on display. Five members of the football team, pro scouts, and a whole lot of onlookers spent the afternoon at the Watts today for Youngstown State's Pro Day. Charles Baldwin led the way on the bench press with 33 reps of 225, and running back Tevin McCaster posted an unofficial 471 on the 40-yard dash. Both solid numbers. <laughs> Professional scouts from 14 NFL teams were in town today, including two former Steeler greats, four-time Pro Bowler Joey Porter and Hall of Fame linebacker Kevin Green. It's been a big week for Youngstown statewide receiver Darius Shackelford. After tearing his ACL during camp last season, Shackelford returned to the field for the first time since last July. When I got out there and I started just to feel the turf underneath me again, it was my first time putting on cleats since I tore my ACL on July 28th last year, first day of camp. And it just felt really good and I, I got super excited. Weighing in at 186 pounds, Today, he put up a staggering 15 reps of 225 on the bench press, and the added weight certainly didn't slow him down. It's been an interesting road for Shackelford. Recovering from an ACL injury is hard enough, but not being able to get in-person treatment due to the coronavirus created an even tougher rehab. It was really tough, but we have a, Ethan and Steve, they're great trainers. They hooked me up with three different apps on my phone so they could they had videos on there showing me what to do, assess my reps, my sets, and I literally I logged it in every day. They could log it in, and they just they, they were able to monitor me and make sure I was still doing everything I needed to do. So when I got back here, I wasn't behind. The senior could be a big threat for the Penguins this year. At six foot four, Shackelford is the tallest wideout on the roster. They don't know really what I got. So, and I haven't been able to really train and show them what I have. So it's been a little difficult for me. I didn't know if I was going to even get another year to come back and play. I didn't think my knee was going to be the same at all. And I thought I was going to be done. Being here now is it's a blessing. In Youngstown. Hi everyone, hard to believe, but it's been 19 years since a YSU football player has been drafted into the NFL. That streak will likely end this summer though. Today, 10 Penguins were on display at YSU's Pro Day. And there was plenty NFL interest. And keep in mind, we're just 44 days away from the NFL draft, which begins on April 27th. First round will again be in prime time. And for the first time ever, the draft will take place in Philadelphia. He struck in Newark community this past weekend. 24-year-old Darius Shackelford. He was killed in a crash while he was sitting in a parked car. Youngstown police, they were attempting to stop a 19-year-old for a traffic violation and a chase ensued. Yeah, the driver eventually struck the vehicle that Shackelford was sitting in, and police say he died out there on the scene. NBC4 Digital Sports reporter Justin Holbrock spoke with those who coached him during his time at Newark High School. Justin. Yeah, Darius was a three-sport athlete excelling at baseball, basketball, and football. He pursued his dream of playing Division I football at Youngstown State and graduated just last year. His former coaches and a close friend at Newark spoke with me about a remarkable life cut way too soon. Members of the Newark community are grieving the loss of Darius Shackelford, a beloved Wildcat who could light up more than just the scoreboard as a three-sport athlete. Any room he walked in, he always lit it up. He'd light, it, he'd light it up with laughter, you know, he'd light it up with joy. Grant Russell connected with Darius on the field as the Wildcats quarterback and off it as one of his best friends. Uh, he was just a loving, caring person. That's not only felt by me, that's felt by our, the entire community in Newark. That includes his former high school coaches. Always had a smile on his face, always wonderful, selfless kid. Um, just probably of all the kids I taught, probably in the top five, the most enjoyable kids to have in class. That's kind of a rare thing anymore to have that combination of being a good athlete, being a good student, uh, being a role model. He just was the total package. He was great to my two kids. They were young then. They were probably uh, six or seven years old, and he would he would shoot with them. And just the, the way he was, not just with his teammates, but other kids, um, to remember for how you treat other people. And uh, he, he, was, he was a great guy. 
Darius's talent, work ethic, and down-to-earth nature was rewarded by Youngstown State with a football scholarship. He played for the Penguins from 2015 to 2020. Although his life was cut short, the way he lived and loved will continue on in those who loved him. He's going to want us to keep going, keep living the right way and doing the right things because that's what he always did. Um, and that's the lasting legacy I, I do believe he will, he will leave. During his senior year in 2015, Darius helped the baseball team reach the district finals and helped the basketball team win the district tournament. He finished with the second most catches, third most yards, and third most touchdowns in New York history. But his heart and the way he made others feel will be how Darius Shackelford is remembered. In the newsroom, Justin Holbrock, NBC4. Investigation continues into a weekend crash that claimed the life of a former YSU football player. The community continues to remember him. Hundreds came out to a memorial put on by the Youngstown State Athletic Department for 24-year-old Darius Shackelford. I was at Stambaugh Stadium tonight where those who know him tell me Darius was truly irreplaceable. As a coach, if you had a, a whole team full of Darius Shackelford, you'd, you'd feel pretty good. The day he stepped on the earth, he was a bright light, and he shined as bright as he possibly could. Hundreds gathering tonight to honor the short life of former YSU football player Darius Shackelford. You never think it's going to happen to you, and then it, it happens to you, and you just like, you don't know. Like, if what's real, you know, is up, down, you know, like, it's, it's it, your whole frame is just rocked. He was just the ultimate team player and I mean you see the, the kind of uh, reception he had out here today. I mean what everyone thought of him. He was just uh, a great kid to be around. Friends and family remembering Darius for his humble and loving personality. The most important legacy he'll leave is just to treat people the right way because that's that was him, you know. He would make everybody feel good, whoever he was around. He made you feel like his your problems was his problems, you know, and he helped with he helps you work through whatever you're going through. Family telling me he loved his team, alma mater, and the game of football. He had a lot of options, and he weighed those options very carefully. And this is this is where he settled. So he knew that this was the place for him to be. You can try to make sense of why you lose somebody like him at such a young age, but. You know, you have faith that he's, a, he's in a better place right now and he's up in heaven. Darius just graduated in December from YSU. Funeral services have yet to be announced. The crash that claimed his life remains under investigation. Officials say 19-year-old was fleeing from police when he crashed into, into Darius's car last Saturday. Charges and evidence, there's a lot of evidence to collect. All right, Youngstown police revealing new details into the deadly accident that killed a former YSU football player identified the driver who they say started it all. Good evening, I'm Dave Sess. And I'm Alexis Walters, the victim in all of this, 24-year-old Darius Shackelford. Police say they continue to gather more information to find out what really happened. Here's First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti. As accident reconstruction experts with the State Highway Patrol joined the investigation today, Youngstown Police are releasing new information now on Saturday's late night fatal crash on the east side. Investigators are collecting and reviewing video surveillance from the area. Police have also released radio traffic from the incident, which we're told started when an officer witnessed an SUV driven by 19-year-old Adrian Washington of Youngstown run a red light at Albert Street and the Hemrod Expressway. Go for it, but literally four seconds later, a call for help. But Albert has stayed single six, single six, send me some cars on uh, Albert McGuffey. As the officer turned around and activated his his lights and sirens, this vehicle at a high, rate of, a high rate of speed fled. That crash moments later claimed the life of one time Youngstown State football player Darius Shackelford as his car was in the intersection at McGuffey Road. This afternoon, Mayor Tito Brown sympathized with the innocent victim's family. Uh, the things that we tell our children, go and get an education, you know, the life and the world is yours to have and just taken in an instant. Officers apprehended Washington and a 17-year-old juvenile passenger soon after the crash were told Washington has an arrest record over the last two years locally and has spent time in the Mahoning County Jail. Definitely the officer's presence along with the activation of his lights and sirens caused this person to flee and to crash. There's no doubt about that. 
As investigators look to determine if any of the department's policies were violated, police expect charges to be filed later this month. Meantime, we did learn the man accused in a deadly crash that killed a former YSU football player is now in the Mahoning County Jail. This all happened within the past two hours. Look, this is a new mugshot First News got a hold of of Adrian Washington. He faces charges of aggravated vehicular homicide and leaving the scene of an accident. That crash killed 24-year-old Darius Shackelfer. This is video of the wreck from February 7th. Police say Washington ran a red light at the intersection with the Hemrod Avenue Expressway. That officer turned around and put on a siren, but less than 10 seconds later, Washington's car crashed into the vehicle Shackelford was driving. Washington is expected to be arraigned tomorrow. Over in the crash that killed a former YSU football player is now facing felony charges. Adrian Washington is charged with hit skip and aggravated vehicular homicide. Uh, police say Washington was driving the car that crashed into another car that Darius Shackelford was sitting in. That February collision killed Shackelford. Officers say they saw Washington run a red light a few blocks away before crashing into Shackelford's vehicle. Just in last month's fatal crash involving a former YSU football player is now being held in jail on a $75,000 bond. Adrian Washington was in court this afternoon after turning himself in yesterday. He's charged with aggravated vehicular homicide in connection with the crash that claimed the life of Darius Shackelford. Washington returns to court later this month.